Hey, what's going on guys? God is here. So today the Halloween update for Phantom Forces finally dropped, which I'm a little skeptical on, but I thought we'd do like a live reaction to it. I have not looked into this at all yet. I, I literally just, this is live reactions, live going over things. So we're going to try out a little bit of everything here and see how it goes. With the new PP Bison, the Krinkov, which is an AK PDW. I'm a little curious to see how that'll play out. The M79 Thumper, which is basically like another shotgun secondary. Type 88 Assault Rifle, new grip attachments, new skin cases, and then there's also new spawn algorithms, which I'm going to be a little concerned about because that might mess up my spawn trapping but it should be all right we have a nice new background here and some new maps that are kind of like temporary maps i'm assuming so i'm a little concerned because i'm going to be the first one to say here that maps in the past during halloween updates have been well during any themed update have been kind of bad and really annoying to play on so i, I have high hopes but i'm not expecting too much i think it would be cool here if we start off with the type 88 which basically just looks like a pp bison Basically, it just looks like a bigger bison. Can three shot down to a five shot? Let's drop some random attachments on it and see how we could play. I'm not going to, you know, dog on it too much just yet. Okay, so there's now a potato grip. The skeleton grip, I think, has always been here. Uh, a Harris CQR grip. And then, wait, this automatically has a laser on it? I'm going to try this. Why not? I'm, I'm kind of curious to see how it'll go. But that means now we have a lot more beams, boys. There it is. Okay, so we could put regular mag on this, which gives it 30 bullets instead of 75. We're going to use the 75 bullet. Let's see how it goes. I'm kind of interested. Can I scope in still? I can. It also gives an orange beam. That's pretty cool. So is this going to get three shot close range and then five shot at long range and has a 75 bullet mag? Well, the accuracy isn't anything too great that I'm seeing so far. It isn't also bad to control. Like, it's far from being difficult. So I'm a little curious as to how this will work out. Is this just a reskinned... This is refinery, right? Am I not mistaken? I feel like it is. I'm curious. Yeah, this is definitely like a reskinned, redone refinery. I, I think it actually plays. Well, not plays. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm interested to see how it'll play. Not really against it, in all honesty. Wow. Okay. Gun shoots really slow. I think it was only 600 rate of fire, so that's a little... Eh, it's a little slow for my taste. I don't know how I feel about this gun. I feel like it's going to take a lot of gameplay for me to really give an honest opinion about it. I'm dead. I'm dead. Maybe not. Oh, okay. We're dead. We're dead anyways. All right. Well played. So I'm going to give a few more lives with this gun before I switch off to something else. I'm... Mm, I, I don't know. I think I might switch to the 30 round mag and see if that makes this gun any more and more... Any more enjoyable. I just said more like four times. Any more enjoyable because maybe the 30 round mag play more like a normal AR what I'm more used to and I think that I don't know I kind of like the comfort of knowing what I'm expecting here if that's the one way to phrase it so let's go ahead and swap that out for a regular mag it also makes the gun more look more like an AR than a PP Bison so that's pretty neat so even with the 30 round mag it doesn't make it a ton more accurate in my opinion I, I don't think it's really worth kind of going all out for I, I don't think I would honestly buy this gun with having that low of a rate of fire, there's definitely better guns out there. I don't think it's bad. Let, let me say that this is very much first impressions, and I don't mean to just dog on something right away. I don't think the gun is bad. I just think off my first impression, it isn't something that I would personally buy or recommend others buy because the, the dropping down to a 30 round mag doesn't really do anything. It, it's okay. It's it's all right. Not my favorite thing so far. What I am interested in though is this PDW AK, the Krinikov. This. 37 damage close range, making it a three shot. And what is that up to? Maybe 35 studs-ish, 40 studs. And then it drops off to a six shot. That's a lot. 735 fire rate. Let's see what the attachments are looking like here. So we're going to throw on a random sight as per usual. I'm not going to use any of the new grips here. I think I'm just going to go with a normal... Oh, wait, what is this? I Dude, I don't know. I, I, I'm not interested in like reading through these at this current moment. They're probably decent. I wouldn't doubt it. But it's just not what I care about right now. It also has a 7.62 conversion. Oh my god, I'm curious to try that. That is a two-shot headshot up to over 50 studs. And then it becomes a five-shot. So let's try this. Hold up. How inaccurate is this going to be? Not as bad. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Let me get a kill or two with this first. Okay, not as bad as I thought it was initially. A lot of initial vertical recoil kick, right? Which is to be expected. A lot of guns in this game have that initial vertical kick. But after that, nothing too bad. At least I don't think. Like, that doesn't seem too terrible, right? I'm not even controlling it all that much. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. Chris, 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 Chris. Buddy. Bud. Just hit the shot. It's, it's not that difficult. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so, so far, kind of like this. I'm not against it by any means. Okay, all right. 
It's a three shot close range. I don't know if the 762 is really worth it though. Let me turn off that 762 ammo conversion. Super armor piercing. This is probably better, truthfully. It actually makes it further range for a three shot. So nine mil might actually be the wave here. That's a, that is a super fast reload, or at least it feels like a super fast reload. Okay. And that makes it a lot more accurate. Okay, nine mil might be the wave. Let's play with this a little bit. Oh my God, this thing becomes a laser with nine mil. 9mm is definitely the wave on this. It becomes even further range of a 3-shot as well. I'm dead to my left, yeah. 9mm is the wave, bro! 100%! Hands down! This gun I'm really interested in playing with more in the future. I can already tell I'm gonna enjoy this. It reminds me a lot of the SCAR PDW. I guess just because, you know, bigger guns being turned into a PDW. That's also a really cool grenade tracer that looks like... Not tracer, but like... It seems like the outline of the grenade was really big. Let me throw a grenade real quick, what that looked like. That's really cool. Things like that, I can get behind, bro. Some cool little cosmetic like that, uh, bravo. Bravo for them to making that. That's a really neat thing, I like that. Nice little audio effects to it, nice little touch, changes it up from the normal. So, alright, so far, the maps, well, the map, period, this map, Pretty cool. I, I don't dislike it. Like I said, it's like refinery, just reskin, done a little bit differently. It has a little bit of a different flow. Perfect. The grenades, really cool. The character models and stuff, I think it's a really neat touch, especially since you have like these little outlines on your character. So far, cosmetically, this update is pretty nice. I like it. I'm a pretty big fan. The guns so far, no true complaints just yet. This is a little bit concerning with how accurate the 9mm is. I don't know if it should keep the three shot with the 9mm ammo because it gets a lot more accurate and actually becomes a further three shot. So I'm not 100% on that yet. I'm not saying it's overpowered or anything like that. These are just very much initial impressions. Remember, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Why? He just crapped on me. Okay, so we're going to give one or two more lives with this. And then it's think I'm going to switch to the Bison. The Bison I had made a video about, or maybe I just streamed it a while ago. I think I just streamed it uh, when the Bison was initially added to the test place. But obviously, it's been reworked and refined since then. So I'm curious to see where the gun stands now. It wasn't anything too great back then. Just a really high ammo kind of SMG. Something similar to like a P90 in my opinion. We're going to throw this on, see how it handles. Just, you know, buy random attachments as usual. I just realized rank 88, we get to use this in 0 to 100. I'm super excited. Okay, bye. I'm sorry. I, I got really upset. Really, really excited for that. Let's try this. Three shot as well. Not super fast fire rate as per the other ones. I feel like this is kind of a similar trend with a lot of the guns that were added here. Slow fire rate, three shot at a decent range. Oh, having the extended mag there would have been great, but he just AA 12 me to the dome. Well played, buddy. Well played. Uh, this opinion may change. Cosmetically, I give it an A. I, I think the cosmetic update's pretty cool. I had a lot of fear going into this because, like I said, the maps on other events usually are kind of jank. I'm going to be real with you. They usually kind of suck. This one I'm enjoying. I hope we can get another event map in the next round so I can comment on that further. Grenades, awesome. Character models, awesome. There's really no complaints on those. The guns, I don't think I have any real complaints with them either. And you guys know me. I like to criticize a lot, right? A lot, a lot. Are all of these new maps? Okay, so it looks like it's going to be all new maps. Don't know how I feel about that. I still like to have the old variety, especially if this is going to be going on for like two weeks or something. I'm not sure. All right, another new map. Hopefully it holds up. Ew, it's just Mirage. No, I have so many regrets, bro. Oh, wait. And it changes the laugh on each one. I guess it's kind of randomly generated which laugh you're going to get. That's dope. I really like that. Nice little cosmetic thing to have. Oh, well, I guess that's not really cosmetic in a sense, but, but you know what I mean. Nice little touch of detail. I enjoy that. Where? Come here. Come here. Come here. Ah, uh, grr. Stop running away. Ooh, these look like some free kills. Please give me the kills. All right. Guns I'm pretty happy about. I don't have many complaints just yet, nothing that I can find at least. However, if we go to melees, there's a lot of new melees in here that I do not own. So for the sake of my viewers wanting to know what these melees may look like, I think that we're going to also- wait a second, wait, 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 what was that? What was that? 
Where was that background? Case inventory? Oh, uh, where am I? I forgot I'm on here somewhere. Um, all right, UI scale zero, so we could actually see this. I think this was a really neat thing to add. They added a bunch of like prominent people in the community's name to this. I appreciate being on here if I could find myself again. Even Synthesize, Oscar, Remaining, some guy PF, Petty, all the popular YouTubers and streamers out there. Where am I at? I forgot. I know I'm on here somewhere. Tammy's on here? Nice. Tommy, awesome. Ruben Sim in really small text over here. I'm more popular than you, Ruben Sim. Sorry, Burbeans. You're officially kicked out. God status. There I am. I'm right there. I'm right over there on the left hand side. Me and the homie Spirals right next to each other. That's a dub. That's a dub. All right. Anyways, I'm going to open some cases and get some melees so I could show you guys what these are about. This is going to take a while. We got the Noob Slayer. Second case. Hello. Okay. I'll take that. Whatever. No, I didn't want to. Back to back very rares. I don't want these. I want melees, please. Time out. KDR is not everything. Remember to play the objective. Which one of you wrote that? Delete it right now. KDR is everything. I enjoy getting very rares and not legendaries. Yay. You guys wonder why I don't do case openings. Yay. All right. World Buster. Nice. Two new melees unlocked. Pretty excited. Well, I don't know if the World Buster is new. I probably should know this, right? You think this kind of being a job for me, I would know these things. I do not. I have no idea if that's new. Oh, we just unlocked the dark heart. That looked like a really cool one. I'm excited about that. My fingers are starting to hurt. I'm like a hundred cases deep. <sighs> what hurts the most? Being so close. Having no legendaries. Watching myself get no legendaries. Uh, it hurts even more getting gold skins. I don't want them. Hey guys, Roblox YouTuber God status here. I would really like to be able to open up cases automatically. I'm trying to do it for the content, but I don't know how much longer I can last. I think it's been like five minutes. <laughs> I'm losing it. Come on, give me another legendary. We have a 4.5% chance. Please. Let's go. We can be Thor. Oh my God, today is a great day. And we got the fire axe. I know that's not new. Or at least I don't think so. Hey guys, how you doing? Oh, hunting knife. There it is. Now we really be pulling legendaries. The next gold skin I get, I'm going to trade in for a legendary. Oh, there it is. There it is, boys. We traded in. All right. It's a lot of gold skins. Quite a few. Six skins for a legendary. Say less. We got the pickaxe. Let's go. Oh my God. We can play Minecraft now. I need one more gold skin. Crap. What about these? Do I have enough of these? I do. Awesome. Submit trade in. Come on. Poppy needs a new pair of shoes. Let's go! What about these? Oh my god, we have so many of these. I can't get rid of the Costanzas. Those are those are sacred. And then we just got a guitar! 6.25% chance. Please don't give me a very rare. Please, just give me the legendary. I would love to have it. It would be pretty cool. I'd, I would be really excited as your favorite YouTube content creator. Call me God status. Professional Roblox player. Call me God status. 7.75%. You give me a gold. We're trading it in. You want to know how much I care about this gold skin? Zero. None. Dude, there's so many cool melees. Okay, okay. We have a lot of melees. I'm going to try out all of these real quick. Let's go. So now we have the ritual sickle. Let's, let's. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is spooky. You can't even see my. <laughs> I, I guess this is it, boys. This is the, uh, this is the melee. That's a pretty neat sound. That's unusual. I like that. Oh, it's a little hard to see people. I'm going to be honest. It's a little difficult to see them. However, even though difficult to see them, I don't despise it. I don't absolutely hate it. And that's weird for me to say. I usually hate these things. All right. So next melee. The dark heart. This looked pretty cool. These noises are really cool. I really like these. They're dope. I wonder, I highly doubt if there's like a kill effect if you get them, if you kill someone with it, but it would be really cool. All right, probably not. Probably not. Okay. <laughs> the Noob Slayer, I think this was already in the game, if I'm not mistaken. The World Buster definitely was as well. I don't have that. That just looks like a really big sword. Oh, I can unlock that early. Oh yeah, who cares? That I have to unlock with things. Keyboard. Ooh, okay, so the Tanzanite pick, we can play Minecraft. We can go finding for diamonds. We got Thor's hammer, kind of cool. However, where is this? This is also like a Minecraft thing. It's not actually Minecraft. Crap, I know what this is from and I can't remember it. Oh, uh, if any of you guys know what this is from, please just comment it. You'll refresh my memory. Is that all, right? The void staff? Please tell me this sounds really cool. Oh, <gasps> it lights up your area too. That's so cool. I'm such a huge fan of that. 
Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 there's, there's no way it has a range attack. Does it not actually hit at range? Am I being bamboozled? Is it just a really long windup? I guess... How far was that? That was eight studs. No. Huh. Nonetheless, the lightning looks a little cheesy, but that's a really cool idea. I like that. Okay. That, that, that's gonna wrap this up. So final opinion, just to run it down again. The guns, I have no complaints about at this moment. I haven't looked into them too in depth. The cosmetics of this update, I'm honestly a really big fan of. The map overhauls, I think, are pretty decent. I don't think they're too obstructive to the gameplay. Uh, while they are a little bit harder to see and it's a little weird, not the worst thing to ever happen, in my opinion. As far as, like, the cosmetics as, you know, the grenades, the player models, the new home screen, everything like that... I think that was really good. I'm really happy with those. I like that the grenade has like different kind of laughs to it. It has a nice new effect. Uh, it also has the nice whole new model and everything. Really well done. New melees, I think they're pretty interesting. I love that they all have unique sounds now, which I'm sure the other ones have unique ones, but these ones are like really unique. They stick out. I'm a fan of that. Really big fan of that. I actually, I genuinely think it's a pretty good one. Please don't flame me for saying that. I, I usually, I don't have much negativity about this. Good job. I, I'm I'm so far pretty happy with the update. Well done, people.